Welcome to this week's Step Into Freedom podcast, where it's all about you creating the results you want. I'm Cleidra Gross, your host, speaker, author, and master life coach. Okay, so this week, we're going to be talking about reconnecting to your calling, reconnecting to your calling. And before your mind has all the chatter of you don't have the time, you don't have the money, or you're too old, or it's too late, I want you to give a time out on all of that and listen to me. It's time for you to reconnect your, to your calling because as long as you have life, you have purpose and a calling. God never extends life beyond purpose. So congratulations, you have a calling, all right? And so the first thing you have to clean up is your thinking. Your thinking that you may have adopted from your past. I'll give you an example. I have a client who wants to be a professional speaker. And but because when she was growing up she was really shy, her siblings have used to tell her that she was quiet, that um she didn't have a lot to say, and she's still thinking about that now. So I want you this week to clean up your thinking. Have you adopted some thoughts from maybe siblings parents, um, teachers that don't serve you now. And I want you to look at that list and clean it up and decide what do you want to think about you now? And I'm going to give you a thought in case you can't come up with one that I want you to know that it is still possible for you to reconnect with that place where you find the fulfillment, joy, and contentment that you really, really want. So that's the first thing. And the second thing is there are two habits that you're going to have to stop, and that's judging and complaining. And I'm not talking about other people. I'm talking about to yourself, the judgment and the complaining that you have towards you. I work with all women, and we can be the toughest critics where it's never enough where we should have done more, where we live in this perpetual state of it not being where it needs to be. And so I want you to go on a judgment detox. You are not allowed to judge yourself this week. You know, judge not includes the beautiful woman you see in the morning, in the mirror, all right? And I want you to add to that a complaint-free detox. And the reason that is important is because as long as you have this spirit of condemnation towards everything you're doing, then you're not able to reconnect to your calling because that's going to come in the form of a whisper. It's not going to be a loud voice. It's going to be a whisper from the inside, that Holy Spirit guiding you. But as long as you're judging and complaining, then you're not going to be able to hear the whisper. And so the other thing is that you want to make sure that your body is in great shape. Now, I'm not talking about a number on the scale. I'm talking about you getting great rest, water, eating food primarily that God prepared and avoiding or at least eliminating, I mean, reducing things that are in a bag, box, or can. Why am I saying that? Not for vanity's sake, but for function's sake. Because when you feel great in your body, then again, you're going to be able to hear that whisper. All right. So that's what I have for you this week. It is all about you reconnecting to your calling. Why? Because the world needs your calling. I can tell you, I love what I do, but you're called to pe- to serve people who will not hear my voice. And so we need more women rising up and connecting to their calling and doing what they were sent here to do so that then we can make this place a better world so that we can be the ones who are transforming instead of the many who are conforming. We don't need any more people conforming to this society. All right, so this week, you're going to clean up your thinking You're going to do a little rewind and see where maybe you have adopted some thoughts from your past that you are still making relevant now. And you're going to um, introduce a new thought that is possible now. And you're going to think, decide what you want to think about yourself right now. Go on your judgment and complaining detox for the entire week. You are not allowed to judge or complain about anything about you. This is about you. We are taught to judge not, but usually it's of other people. All right, I want you to give yourself that grace this week. And then the last thing is keeping your body healthy. And it's not about size, it's about function. All right, 
So that's what I have for you. Listen, I would love to be your coach to help you take this work deeper. It is really challenging (laughs) to fight for your dreams by yourself. I know because I have a coach. Listen, it takes work to stay accountable and to face those parts of us that we will talk ourselves out of what we know to do. So if you're interested in that, I actually, this week, I did something different. I opened up my calendar for a few people to be able to talk to me about what you really want to create. I'd love to help you reconnect to your calling. So find a time that works for you on your cal- on, on the calendar link below. All right, that's what I have for you this week. Thank you as always for joining me on the Step Into Freedom podcast. God bless and I'll see you in one week. Enjoy the rest of your day.